Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and in this video I'm going to use Microsoft Word 2013 to demonstrate how to save a Word document using different file extensions. This is, of course, a very simple document with just a forward sentence in it. Now, to save the document, of course, I have to go to the File tab first, click File. then click Save As, go into the folder I want, and I can type a different file name if I want to right in here. I'm just going to leave the file name as it is, but below that, that's where you decide Save As Type, what kind of file extension you want to use, how you want to save the Word document. The standard default is .docx, which is, which is just a simple, basic Word document. If you click the drop-down arrow, you can see there are many different ways in which you can save a Word document. The first one, the basic one, is at the top of the list. Then there's a way to save it as a macro-enabled document, a document that allows macros to run that file extension would be .docm. If you want to save the Word document in such a way that someone else with an old version of Word software can still open it, you can save it as Word 97 to 2003 document .doc. If you want to save the document as a template in Word, you would save it as .dotx. If you wanted to save it as a Word macro-enabled template, a template, in other words, that can run a macro, you'd save it with the file extension .dotm. And finally, you can save it as a Word template, a basic Word template, so that someone with an old version of Word can still open it, .dot. When you pick the one you want, the correct file type that you want. All you have to do then is click Save in the lower right corner. And if you look at the top in the title bar area, the title area, you can see how it was saved. 